Welcome back everyone. And today we're gonna to dive deeper into our groundbreaking HH44 and talk about the Eco Drive. Welcome back. Uh, this week we're going to talk about why this boat is groundbreaking and why we've designed a boat not just to win awards next year, but a, a boat for the future. A boat that's going to lead our other marine competitors to, to a cleaner future, a better future. You know, recently we've seen a, a new generation of clients come to us um, looking at the whole world getting electrified, right? You know, Tesla cars and they've got electric cars out there, they're the norm. And then they're, they're really frustrated by the, the slow pace that this is being adopted into the, into the marine world. And this is where we've decided to really revolutionize our boat, make it different, make it special, make it a boat of the future, one that others will, will follow. So why haven't other people done this before? What's wrong with their designs? I guess people have tried to electrify their boats and, and they failed. And, and that's because you really got to start thinking it from the beginning. It's that the design has to be evolved around it. And that's what we've done with this boat, essentially. You can't take a big, fat, heavy cruising cat and give it enough power to, to propel it through the water. You, you've got to have efficient hulls for a start. Mm. And then, you know, we, we purposely streamlined this boat, cleaned all the ropes off the deck, off the cabin top, so that we've got this immense amount of solar available for, for recharging the big battery bank. So like a, an existing performance catamaran design is difficult to yeah. bring up to this level of, of hybrid and Yeah, any, any other catamaran you, you, that, that has limitations on, on the deck solar availability. You know, we've got over, as you say, over three kilowatts of solar mm. as standard to supplement a, a, a over 40 kilowatt battery bank, you know. Right. And, uh, You know, and bringing this all together, the, I was very conscious that you can't abandon the diesel engine because we still want extensive cruising range at speed. You know, you can make an electric boat go slow for a long time, but our electric boat's going to do seven and a half knots for a couple of hours, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, because we do need the, the reliability of diesel, and essentially we've got a, a, a standard diesel-powered boat. It can do 500 plus miles on its uh, diesel tanks and, and, and motor at you know, eight, eight and a half knots. And some of our competitors have gone so far as to go out there saying electric boats don't work. Well, you can, what we've done is made them work and, and backed it up with the reliability of diesel. Right, so I mean, I'll talk about how it works. Please. So the, the parallel hybrid system is essentially a diesel engine like we all know and love with, with a, a shaft. With a gearbox and a shaft. And then instead of a large aftermarket alternator or anything like that, actually on the back end of the engine, there is an electric motor generator that's connected to the prop shaft directly with a belt. And this, and then between there and the prop shaft, there's also a mechanical clutch. And so these things give you an amazing amount of functionality. And um, I'll go through the different functions of it now. So, that leads us into being able to talk about all the different uh, functions that this system offers and the most important one, which we'll start with first, is... When you say functions, you mean different modes of using the boat, right? Right, it, it's very versatile. And the, the first one that we'll talk about is electric propulsion. You have a 43.2 kilowatt hour, uh, 48 volt lithium battery bank. So th this size is comparable to what you'd find in an electric car. And uh, this sends power directly to those two 10 kilowatt motors mounted on the back end of each engine. 10 kilowatts horsepower, what's that? About 15 horsepower, 18 horsepower? Or? About 15 horsepower. Right, 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 right. So you won't reach the top motoring speed of the boat, but you'll be able to do seven and a half knots, depending on conditions, for about 1.5 to two hours. And that depends on your other loads around the boat. And that's uh, one and a half hours, two hours. It was why we kind of designed it. I mean, it's, it's ample time to get in and out of a marina, get the sails up, or leave an anchorage in the dead quiet of the morning, and you're in silent electric motor mode. Right, right, right. That sort of leads us on to the next amazing uh, mode of the system. And that is that like, a purely electric boat 
cannot go further, or you, your battery bank just becomes too big, too large, too heavy, and so we, we still have the diesel engines. Or the this. boat goes too slow. Or the boat goes too slow. Yeah. <laughs> and you never get there. <laughs> so we still have the diesel engines. So for a long range motoring, you have diesel engines and you can motor at eight and a half knots with the two 30 horsepower diesels and you have enough fuel for over 500 nautical miles of range. Typical of any performance cruising boat that's got to go around the world or... Yep. Yeah. And then while you're motoring, those same two electric motors are now functioning more as, like, say, alternators. And they are generating 5 kilowatts each, 48 volt DC power directly into the batteries. That's huge. I, and just to kind of put that in proportion, I mean, our, our current standard 55s and 50s, we, we offer a Northern Lights gen set. I mean, this is 300 kilos, this gen set, and it produces 6 kilowatts of power. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so uh, being a, a world cruising uh, performance catamaran, yeah, you need to be able to handle those long ranges, you need to be able to go far off the beaten track and, and that again leads to uh, keeping the diesel engine. Right. And why, why we can't be a pure electric boat. A pure electric boat, um, should any link in that system fail, you lose propulsion. Right, so, and, and that's what I call a term, I guess it's a, a, a common term, a serial hybrid. Yes. Where you have a, a, a gen set. Powering the batteries. A battery bank, yeah. Which uh, motor amplifiers, the motor. and then the motors. And they're all in a line, and they've all got their own bit of firmware, and they've all got linked together with a bit of software. Yeah. And if anything goes wrong with any, any of the links or any of the bits of hardware, you've, you've lost your electric propulsion. Right. And, and yeah, so we consider I mean, even being performance catamarans, we still consider the diesel engine as, as the number one safety device on board. It is. Uh, your engines, any cruiser knows that, that even though they've got a sailboat, they love the engine. You can't be in a situation where you go, oh dear, we, we've only got 15 minutes of battery power left. Yeah. That's crazy, and that's why... And we're on a lee shore. Lee shore for the next front, 200 miles. And there's a front coming in, <laughs> and we need to skedaddle. Yeah. And so basically this system gives you that uh, redundancy. Not only do you have two electric motors, but now you've got two diesel engines as well. You've got four propulsion devices, and that's just, I mean, you're trusting your, your life, your family's lives, your friends' lives on the boat, and not only have we added all of this amazing functionality, but we've made the boat safer as well. This is, yeah, it's safer, yeah. James, you talked about some of the functions, and we got this you know, big battery bank, the size of a, a car battery bank, typically over 40 kilowatts. And a battery bank is essentially a fuel tank, you know, it's a, it's a buffer. You, we've got to put the energy back into it. Right. So how are we going to do that? Well, on this system, there's a, a few different ways. The number one being the massive solar installation. Um, the HH44 comes with 3.2 kilowatts of solar. Yeah. Just to put that into perspective, if you are on a 24 hour cycle, a sunny day, we would expect that to generate about 22 kilowatt hours of power. So recharge the, ba the battery roughly 50%. 50%, To right, get yeah. that same power, talking back to our HH50s with their five to six kilowatt generators, you would need to run it for four and a half hours every day to equal the power that we're gonna get from the solar panels. Right, that's, that's a lot of noise. A lot of maintenance and a lot of diesel. So the solar is really a key component of this, the, the whole system. Yep. The other cool... And, and of course we're using really high efficient, lightweight uh, solar, solar panels. panels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and the guarantee on these solar panels? is a five year guarantee. They're, they're, they're literally called tough panels. For a reason. <laughs> For a reason. So then the other way, which is such a great benefit on a sailing yacht, when you combine it with an electric motor, is while sailing you can uh, keep the folding propeller open and it will free spin in the water and now it's rotating your prop shaft the electric motor which is attached to the prop shaft fire about is now also spinning and can act as a generator the motor controller is constantly monitoring that monitoring that shaft rpm controlling its speed to extract the maximum torque so you're generating free power while you're sailing but now you know we've been an anchor for we found the perfect anchorage We've been there for a week, and sadly, the last three days, it's been raining. So guess what? We've got no solar, we've got electric cooking facilities, uh, we're running the air conditioning because we're in the tropics, it's humid, want to be comfortable at night, 
and the battery, this amazing battery bank is now starting to get down. What am I gonna do? So each uh, diesel engine is connected to the prop shaft with a mechanical clutch operated with a Morse cable. You just open that clutch and now you can turn on your diesel engines and they will run the motor, electric motor generators as generators. And again, each one can generate five kilowatts of electricity. Back into the battery bank. Back. So you've got a 10 kilowatt, 10 kilowatts worth of generator power. So you don't have to run them for long and you're recharged. Good stuff. So the system does it, everything. It really <laughs> does. And, and when you start to kind of think about, you know, all the things and the benefits, the, the, the features that we're talking about, you know, this is when we've gone, why has no one done this before? I mean, this was technology that was, has been available right for the last 15 years, developed for the canal boats around Europe. Um, and all we've done really is taken it and put it into the sailboat and added the hydro regeneration mode. Mm. Yeah. Well, I think that kind of covers the broad sort of scope of the eco drive. And um, that probably wraps it up for us this time. It's been really exciting, actually. This is a silent way into a cleaner future. So I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, like, see you next time. To request more information about our groundbreaking HH44, click here. To watch the next video in the series, click here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more updates.